Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed and I will walk you through the upcoming practical uh, lessons when we uh, practice uh, the Elastic Sim Solution. And we will start uh, in this lesson by solving this machine that exists on TryHackMe, it's called it's Pitsy and it's regarding some malicious activity that is running in an environment that has uh, the elastic sim solution and we will uh, explore the elastic sim solution and learn the most important features in it and how we will investigate this case so let's begin all right so this is the front page of the elastic sim solution and we actually have a lot of tabs and a lot of features but at this point we are only interested in some of the main features or some of the main functions these functions are the ones that you will deal with it on a daily basis at your to at your job as SOC analyst and the first tab or the first function that we will discover is the discover itself in the discover page you can search and discover all the data that you have stored in your sim solution so where exactly these data came from these data are the data or the logs that are collected from all the assets in your environment so for example if you have an endpoint whether it was windows linux or you have certain network device you have a firewall all the assets in your environment should send their uh, data and their logs to the sim solution and the sim solution store all of these data and provide you through the kipana component that we talked about earlier with a way to search and filter and visualize all these data so if you want to search for a certain log in your environment if you want to search for a certain behavior or patterns or in your or you are for example uh, in in a uh, performing uh, an investigation and you want for uh, to want to search for more data regarding uh, the asset that you think is compromised the discover page will be your first to go page because in this page you can search for all the data that the sim solution or the elastic sim solution collected for, from your environment so let's explore what we have here so the first thing or the first section of this page you can find is the search field and here you can search as we said for any logs or any data you want to uh, from your environment and in this search you can use the tql which is uh, the structure language or query language that you can use for building uh, queries to search through all of your data and actually this query language is very handy uh, and useful to know and we will talk about this later all, all we want to know now is this is where we can uh, search for the data Another part of this page is the time frame. So this time frame or this value in the time frame will determine the range uh, or the time frame of the da data you want to show. For example, here the default is uh, the last 15 minutes and you can find that there is no result because this is actually a dead environment which means there is no data sent or sending to this uh, sim solution right now so there will no be any data in the last 15 minutes but we can uh, change that and we have uh, many options to control the uh, time frame for example we can make it uh, for the last uh, one year and also there will no data because the data stored here are longer than uh, one year so i will make it 
for example, five years. And you can see that the data started to show up. And one thing to note about the uh, time frame is in case if you are working on this same solution in a real environment and a real production environment and you have uh, uh, up and running endpoints and network devices and thousands of devices that sends millions of loads uh, each minute and each hour, of course, it will be impossible for uh, setting such a higher time frame because higher time frame is the higher the uh, or the largest the loads that will be parsed or showed and of course this will execute and consume a lot of resources so in, in certain cases this could uh, make or this could uh, make the uh, the elastic solution failed so so be careful when you choose the uh, time frame here we have the filter which we can use to filter out or in uh, our uh, search queries and we will come to this later and here we have the chart that visualize the vo volume of the data we have the timeline of uh, the dates and we have the number of the loads or in this case it called hits so in the last five years, we can notice that at this point of the time, uh, 2022, we had around uh, 1,000 and half loads or hits that are coming from this source log. And in a real environment, this source, you will find multiple source loads depending on your or uh, on the deployment of the solution uh, or the elastic and the depending on the load sources you have but in this as i said this is not a real production so we have only here uh, an index or a certain uh, loads that call connection loads and we have uh, this number of these loads and if we scroll down we can find the, these loads. Let me hide the chart in order to see the loads uh, more clear, clearly. So this is our, or these are the loads. So let's explore one of these loads. I will choose this randomly. So here you can find the summary of the content of these loads the these are the highlighted fields of this logs so here we have the date we have the time that this event or this log uh, arised or happened and here you can find the highlighted field of course this is not all the fields this is just the most important field that get appeared and if you want more field you can expand uh, the event or the log to find all the uh, field or all the data related to this event so we have here the destination ip and we have the destination port so we now know uh, this is a uh, an event related to an internet connection or a network connection and this is the address of the destination and this is the port of the destination this is the host of the destination and this is uh, this uh, tell us that this is an http request and you can find here it uh, it classified as an http traffic and this is the method the body length and uh, this is the source ip and this should be the internal ip that was responsible for making this request so to sum up this is uh, from what we see this is an an event for an http uh, request that happened from one of our asset or one of our IPs in, the, in our environment to an external IP with or to an external web server with this IP. And we can, as I said, expand uh, this event to find more information uh, uh, about this uh, 
uh, about this request, you can find all the information you need, the status code, which uh, which is 200. That means that this request uh, have been made uh, successfully and the source uh, get uh, or got their response or what they asked for. This is the URI or the URL that uh, the source uh, connected to. It's actually seems a little suspicious to me this is the user agent uh, uh, it it, um, it says the type of the agent the the user used in order to visit this uh, web server and usually it's um, it's a browser so these are the data that is related to uh, to this event and as i said earlier this actually this event happened in uh, in uh, in part or in a part of our environment and some device that is responsible or that we configured to push and send this data to Elastic uh, have sent it and Elastic stored this data and now we have uh, the information about this web request. And of course, such data or such events or logs are very handy and useful for us uh, as a SOC analyst because you, we can use this data in order to investigate whether one of our endpoints are connecting with uh, a malicious website or are downloading a malicious uh, content or is there any suspicious uh, connection between uh, our uh, uh, one of our endpoints and uh, a server, an internet server that known for as uh, as it, that known mal as malicious. So all of these data we can exploit in order to uh, investigate such cases. And actually, in this certain scenario, we have among these logs we have uh, some sort of suspicious or and malicious behaviors that is run uh, that is going on uh, b uh, among all of these events and in the next lesson we will uh, try to discover uh, this uh, behavior and we will uh, utilize the search queries and filters uh, to investigate this behavior